Welcome to Monday morning, guys. Welcome back for a, uh, another gardening adventure. So hopefully everyone had a good weekend. We um, worked on Saturday, but then Sunday, flower power and grab some uh, plants, some indoor plants and bits and pieces. Uh, Xavier loved the little Husqvarna toys, but I think we'll put a few. I'll see if I can grab a few for Christmas. Might get him something. That's pretty cool. Can I do it again? You might have to ask for one for Christmas. So, um, yeah, should be predicting a few showers, so we'll just see what the weather is like. It's going to be a wet week, um, but we'll just get done what we can get done. Let's get to it. Decided to um, change up the sunnies because I was getting a headache with the earmuffs i was wearing these earmuffs and they're really pressing on the side of my head just there so i'm just gonna test these ones out they're a bit narrower to um, see if they're a bit more comfortable and don't give me headaches these ones were just giving me a headache when i use the earmuffs they're just pressing up against the side of my head too too much so test and give the see what they're like hopefully it'll be much better right so we're out at our first job for the morning um I'm at a lawn that should have been cut on Friday, but just because of this weather, we're just pushed behind. So, and this weather, this week's going to be wet again, I think. So, we just and, to do and um, try and keep up. All right, first job down, and um, definitely can feel the difference in these sunny. So, um, a lot more comfortable and they don't hurt down the side see my ears stick out so i've got to tuck my ears in but um the uh, those arms there are a lot more comfortable and no pressure no headache or anything like that so i can tell in the first job that they're going to make a massive difference to these things you know they're a bit more fashionable obviously but i'm not trying to make a fashion statement i'm just trying to get the job done they don't look bad either those sunnies my wife may think differently, but I think they look all right. It's always uh, important to remember that people get you in because of quality of your work. So once you start to provide a quality service, you can um, you know, start to get a reputation. So I just had a lady just pull up. She's just around the corner there. She just um, asked me if I'd be able to do a lawn today. Um, and I, the first question is, is it a one-off job or is it an ongoing service? Um, so at the moment, I'm not doing any one-off jobs. I'm fully fully booked uh, with my existing customers. And I've got a set run that I try and stick to as close as possible. Um, so you can build a business by just running around doing one-off jobs. But that's not my cup of tea. I don't want to do that. I, I am, have my set customers and I look after them as best as possible. Wants to come on board and be a ongoing client, uh, more than happy to have a look at their garden and see what it's like and see whether it suits them, suits me, um, and that's... Right, so we've just gone around and blown, we've done all the edges and trimming we just blow on the um jacaranda flowers just off the footpath just give it a mow now it's almost a shame to um mow up all these beautiful got to get the job done right, just using the old uh, dmc 21 inch honda uh, just getting that cleaned up it's important not to try and cut it too short that's up to you how you choose to run your business. So I've been doing this for about, since I was 21, and I'm nearly 41. So over the years, you just, when I was uh, talking to that potential customer or that lady, I did, I did apologize. I did say, I'm very sorry, but that's just the way I run my business. And she, she said, no, don't worry. It's, um, don't apologize life to life and switch different jobs and bounce around will sort of tend to stick with one thing i like to build up relationships with customers and choose not. to you know you can choose to run your business how you want to run your business there's no right or wrong way to run it um it's just what suits you best 
uh, and, and your personality so some people go from all right so we finished off with the lawns out the front here everything's looking nice and sharp done a bit of weeding in those tree garden beds there so we've just got to do a bit of trimming in here We're just going to sharpen up everything everything can give it a nice sharpen up we're going to use the makita today so um it's the duh DUH 602 hedge trimmer it's got the three three different speed settings so you just turn it on like that it's a turtle it's in between i just leave it on the uh rabbit can reverse the blades as well which is kind of cool but, um if you get a jam or something you can reverse it but that's um that's what i use to trim it at the moment fluffy it's a bit hard to explain to be honest with you but um it's just how I like to do it. The customer likes it that way as well. Around here on this uh, bush rose, I just like to give it a soft tip or soft trim. It's not box it up, but just give it that natural, yeah, that natural look. Um, and they um, they shape shape up really nicely. Beautiful flower as well. I've got pinks and whites, but um, yeah, they're probably one of my favourite at the moment. The um, Indian hawthorn. These are Raphiolepsis hedges. It's more of a... So Indian hawthorn. You'll see it in the nursery. Indian hawthorn. They make awesome hedges. So you can shape them up really, really well. Quick growing. Tough as um, nails. Or Raphiolepsis. Okay, I'm going to swap over now. So that battery's dead now. So all that hedge trimming that you see me do. It's a uh, 4 amp hour Makita battery. On the... Um, handheld trimmer we'll just put that back get another one out and we're going to go to the pole trimmer now so this is the um makita pole trimmer it's um it's been pretty good it started to get a bit loose top end a little bit loose but um i'm looking at some other stuff i'm looking at some husky stuff um i just think that's a little bit that's a next step up Commercial grade, cool. but um, this one gets the job done. Um, so I've just got a high hedge to go and do. So I'll just go and um, we'll go and trim that hedge out and get it uh, get it squared away. So a couple of little ones down there that I want to tidy up, but um, it's always good just take a step back and have a look at the shape and see what you're trying to trying to achieve. And uh, so another little tip, just stand back and look at something that you're trimming from a couple of different angles i just like to come back and you know have a look at it and see if i'm happy with the shape it's a bit of an unusual shape but i don't mind it just take your time with it don't rush all right it. so just taking another step back just having a bit of a look at that um i'm much happier with that you guys may not be able to tell the difference but what can happen is if you just take the extra little bit of time that can make the difference between your gardening services and somebody else's so it's just all in those little details and just those couple of little extra branches just around the base there okay. sharpen things up a lot so just take your time and and do it just be a little bit fussy don't worry about um you know just step back have a look at it because that extra couple will make the difference and set you apart in quality from the next garden. All right, let's have a bit of a look at this job. We've finished off here. Just have a bit of a walk around, check that everything's okay. Lawns are done. That's all weeded in there. Got this shaped up. all tidied up down there and all trimmed up through here so it's all sorted it's always good just to take a bit of a walk through at the end of the job just to see if you've you know if you've missed anything occasionally you might just miss a hedge or miss something but you just start from the front and work, your, work way your way through let's get on to the next one guys trying to be healthy lately so i thought the um 
the good combination with that salad sandwich and the um, chocolate milk will be spot on. Okay hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode of uh, Camden Garden Solutions. Hopefully you tune in tomorrow and uh, we'll go on some more gardening adventures. Take it out, Ollie.